talking about their income and their pay as inflation sits at 8.5 percent, but the average pay raise this past year sitting just under 4 percent, according to research firm Conference Board. So if your raise doesn't meet or exceed inflation, how do you make your boss realize that's essentially a pay cut? Our consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joining us live to debrief on how to navigate those negotiations. Yes, yeah, so what we did was we consulted a negotiations expert. Her name is Fotini Iconomopoulos. She's the author of Say Less, Get More, and she says start by doing your homework. Based on my research or based on my knowledge of the industry, here's what I'm seeing in terms of what that means for salaries like mine or for positions like mine. It's important instead of saying my opinion is or I think that. Approach a conversation about a pay raise from your employer's point of view. What do they need? I want to make sure that we remain a group that is, you know, super productive or that everybody on my team feels really well rewarded and I'm getting the most out of them. When your employer makes an offer, how do you increase it? You can say, I appreciate you coming to the table. It seems that, again, based on this, you know, uh, objective third party information rates, inflation rates are over eight and a half percent or that others in the industry are increasing much more at a much faster pace. You can mention if you received another job offer, but don't go into details. Focus on what can we do to get closer to what's going on out there? Obviously, I'm getting phone calls. I have another offer. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about what can we do to make this more comparable? And if they say no, if they say we don't have that in the budget right now, that is your cue to go. Then when? When are we going to be able to solve for this? When is the right time for that? Okay, Heather, I have to admit, I'm highly non-confrontational. This can make people nervous to have these conversations. So any advice on how to do, how to handle that? Oh, well, it definitely shouldn't be confrontational. And so she says, you know, arm yourself, uh, make a list of all that you do, your accomplishments, have copies of those letters of praise that you have received and practice, practice, practice. Know what you're gonna say and how you're gonna respond to those rebuttals. I've put more on Sullivan Smart Sense on fox26houston.com. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News. I love that you say that. I actually have a folder in my email called that a girl. Whenever someone gives me praise, I just slide the email in so you always know where to find it. Highly recommended. Great tips, Heather. Thank you.